Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews. I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm going to review a red lager for you this evening. Um, it's been a long day, been a warm day, and uh, I really fancy the beer to kind of round my day up. And uh, I've got a special one, a special one. So it's a rock beer, and it's from the Et Schlenkerle Brewery in uh, Bamberg, northern region of Bavaria, and it's their uh, Weichel, or simply rot beer. So Weichel, I believe, means sour cherry. Um, obviously, Schlenkerle Brau in Bamberg, they are famous for the old traditional smoking of the malts, which once upon a time, all breweries used to do. Um, but they still do it in Bamberg. They still smoke the malts. They have a, a fire, which they light under the malts to dry them out. And the smoke gives it a lovely smoky, almost kind of meaty, barbecued meat kind of taste and aroma to their lagers. Um, traditionally, they smoke uh, the malts um, using beech wood. Uh, for, for this for this particular beer, um, they've burnt cherry wood. So they smoked the malts using cherry wood, which gives it a red colour and a slightly sweet cherry flavour, apparently. Never had it. It's coming in at 4.6% ABV. Lovely purple and gold colour scheme they've gone with on the logo. Um, label, should I say. There is a bit of spiel on the back. It says... Uh, for our Et Schlenkerle Weichel Red Lager, we dry the malt over fire with high quality cherry wood, not over beech wood fire as with the classic smoked beer. In contrast to the spicy beech smoked malt, the cherry wood smoked malt has a fruity, almost sweet smoke aroma and provides a copper red colour in the glass. The finest aroma hops add berry notes to the multi layered smoke flavour. The 4.6 ABV Et Schlenker Le Weichel is a full-bodied, pleasantly quaffable beer. Sounds fantastic. Um, I picked this up off of Trembling Madness and I paid $2.99 for it. Um, if it's as good as I hope it's going to be, there is the Schlenkerler guy on the bottle cap. Because it's gold, it's just glaring, which is great. Let's get this uh, oh, lovely, lovely bit of smoke on the opening. I'm going to get this poured into a, a little stein. This is a, a Thornbridge stein, which you've probably spotted already. It's a Lucas stein. But, who cares? And straight away, it's got a lovely colour. Lovely colour to it. Slightly aggressive end to the pour. And there she is. In the glass, certainly a ready hue to it. Lovely colour. Look at the carbonation. So the light is shining on me. So it's really awkward trying to do a beer review holding a stone. Um, see the life in that? Look at that. Got all that carbonation. That is a madman. That is a madman. It's developed. A pretty huge head. I did give it a slightly aggressive pour towards the finish there just to release some of that carbonation. But I mean, that's got a full on three finger, just off white head. Creamy looking head for what it's worth. But it looks lovely. And the aroma is coming out of me. And it's that unmistakable smoky nature of a Schlenkerler beer. But there is, off the bat, a slightly sweeter smoky aroma. I can definitely tell the difference between that cherry wood burning aroma and the beech wood. It's fruity, it's smoky, it smells delicious. I'm going to get through <laughs> that head and get a swig on it. Should we get stuck in? Cheers. Frost up to me dash. Oh, again, that's lovely. Really fruity. Really fruity, really smoky. If anything, this is quite interesting. The smoked flavour, I feel, is coming through on this more than perhaps it does on their Marzen or Merzen. 
which is smoked with the beech wood. I feel like the fruitiness, the cherry, the dark fruit feels more pronounced and it's almost like it's elevating the smoked flavor as well. Lovely mouthfeel, lovely body, as you'd expect from any Bavarian lager. Really coats the palate, nicely carbonated, which helps elevate them flavors. But there is a sweet and smoky flavor to it, which combines really nicely. And there is a bitterness. There is a slightly spicy, almost peppery bitterness at the back end to it, which just makes it a really nicely rounded drinking experience. Up front, there's fruitiness, like a berry sweetness. It's only subtle, but it's there. But it's not something you would normally associate with a lager, like a sweetness, like a, particularly a buried sweetness. You often get sort of honeyed lemon or citrus and things like that with a lager. But with this, there is like, it's cherry, it's dark fruit. It's a berry kind of sweetness. And then there's the smoke. The smokiness comes in. And yeah, you know, now I know it's cherry wood. It's unmistakable. It's unmistakable. It's lovely. And it's light. It's light drinking. 4.6%. Yeah. I'd go along with that. There's no there's no mistaking. It's a sessionable ABV. It's very refreshing. It's very complex. It's just another fantastic brew from these guys. Um, I mean, it's nearly gone. Bit of conditioning on it. Wonderful. Lacing all over the glass. Cracking beer. And the flavours really do hang around. Again, there is, there is literally a combination right now of sweet berries, smoke and spice. Really complex, really rewarding, really refreshing. It's another glorious beer from Schlenker Le Brown. Mm. Yeah, that's cracking. That's a cracking beer, wonderful. I'm gonna polish that off in private. Enjoy that last mouthful. Uh, Et Schlenker Le Weichel, their cherry wood smoked rock beer. Uh, Trebly Man is two ninety nine. That's incredible. That's an incredible price for an incredible beer. Um, if you like your lagers, if you like your German lagers, if you like your smoked lagers, I really, really recommend that one. Um, let us know if you've had it. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think of this beer. I hope you've enjoyed the review. If you have, give it a big thumbs up. I do appreciate it. Till next time, you take care.